So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how I create 2D logo with convert to 3D. And guys, I create like a bubble effect like this. I see that's my Apple logo and that's my like a McDonald logo, right? It's really simple guys. That's my final render. See guys, that's my final render, right? Okay, so now guys, I teach you how I create simple 2D logo convert to 3D like a simple bubble. Okay, so guys, I show you my material. So click on here and see guys, that's my simple material and guys click on here. Guys, I use cycle render, right? Okay, see guys, that's really simple, right? Okay, so guys, I create new composition. And guys, select all and press delete key. So first of all, guys, I'm going to import XVG format file. This one, that my XVG and import. So guys, select and guys, select this one, Apple and import. So guys, increase size. See guys, that's my 2D Apple logo. I show you. So guys, go to on here. And see guys, that's my svg format file this one and guys i show you second one that's my second one right okay so now so guys select and guys rotate so rotate like this guys 90 and guys go to on mate so right click and go to on here set origin to use geometry yes and guys, shift S and curl. Yes. Right. See, guys, that's really simple. Okay. So, guys, go to our material, delete material. So, guys, now I change mesh. So, guys, go to an object and convert to change mesh. This one. Yes. And second one, guys, I quit depth. So, use edit mode. And guys, select all. Yeah. Select all. Shortcut command is A letter and press E and G yeah simple guys and extrude like this right more yeah that's it guys right it's really simple okay so now guys go to on here modifier and guys this time I apply remesh tool this one remesh yes and see guys that's my size guys size I like 0 0.001 enter yeah, and guys go to on here. That's my wireframe. See guys, that's my simple wireframe, right? Okay, so guys select and guys most important origin geometry check and shift S and use offset check. Yes, right? Okay, so now guys go to on here edit mode to change sculpting mode this one here and guys this time I apply cloth filter this one guys see I use this one cloth filter check and see guys filter type I use inflate yeah and guys increase size like this simple okay so guys it's not correct so guys go to on remesh and apply check yes so guys uh, one more time remesh check but guys see that's not correct and change press position so guys go to on up like this yeah see guys that's my like a bubble effect right okay so guys now you can also change this cloth mask like 0 0.5 and increase like this yeah that's my bubble right okay so guys hide wireframe and guys little bit increased more yeah that's it guys see guys that's my like a apple logo 3d apple logo and guys i use bubble effect so guys go to on object mode yes and right click shade smoother and guys next one i apply subdivision surface subdivision for more smoothness yes right it's really simple and guys go to on rotate like this yes see guys that's my first logo so guys now i teach you second logo so guys select and guys i create second 
so guys same go to on here append actually import an xvg format file guys select your model and import yes and guys select this one and increase gain size like this right it's really simple and guys rotate rotate like this 90 degree yes and guys go to on mesh here object convert so guys select and convert to change mesh yes okay so now guys go to on edit mode guys i delete this extra part like this delete like this yes right okay so now guys same extrude so guys edit mode select all and press e and g like this and increase depth like this little bit down yeah that's it guys right okay so now guys center pivot so right click on here set origin to use geometry check and guys shift s use selection curvature offset check yes right okay so now guys remesh so guys go to on edit mode add mode and remesh here guys same size 0 0.001 enter see guys that's my high poly object like this create shape like this right okay so guys remesh check apply and guys select go to on object and use curve mode guys i use same filter close filter check and filter type inflow inflate and guys increase size like this yes see guys that's my bubble effect right and guys go to back and one more time increase yes much better little bit more yes really good see guys that's my like a bubble effect it's really good and guys go to object mode and change depth depth little bit down like this yeah really good right okay so now guys really simple and guys go to our mid and guys closer here and guys now i take camera camera check and guys go to back zero frame actually zero press zero for camera and guys 90 zero and zero and guys go to back like this yes guys set your composition so little bit up go to on here see guys that's my 2d logo i convert to 3d okay so now guys i apply simple material so guys select your m letter and guys wireframe unchecked guys select your m letter and create like a yellow material yellow like this and guys metallic i like one and roughness i like 0 0.2 so i select this one and i apply like a silver and pink materials depend on your work but i like pink yes pink material and guys metallic one and roughness 0 0.2 enter yes okay so now guys select and shade smoother check and guys same apply subdivision surface yes and guys next one i apply light simple area light light area light and guys go to our all and front little bit yes guys i increase size size i like two and guys power 100 and duplicate this light go to on here and increase size select second one i like three and power 150 is good for me press zero yeah and now guys i apply as dri light so go to on here world property and guys environment texture check guys i apply as dri image like this and import yes okay so guys all is good now i apply background and increase size size like this guys go to on edit mode select and press e and g same and increase size 
Okay, so guys, I apply bevel, bevel amount 0 0.3 and segments 40. Guys, go to on closer like this. And guys, I create simple background material like this, simple like this. And guys, roughness 0 0.3, enter and press 0. Yes. Okay, so guys, all is good. My final work is finished. Go to on render setting, select render. And guys, max amp like a 256 for render preview and GPU check. Guys, click on here. Yes, see guys, that's my beautiful material and beautiful work. So guys, I show you my final render. So render and render image check. Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.